What's happening folks? Welcome back to Celtic Fans TV. It is time for the starting eleven prediction for tomorrow's trip to Tana Dice to face Dundee United in the Scottish Cup quarter final. The team have obviously had quite a long eight days off. I think that's the biggest gap we've had between games for a long, long time. No European football now. Hopefully we'll see the benefits of that towards the, the run-in. The manager said more time with the, the team on the training pitch this week, so hopefully we're fresh and ready to go for what is a big game tomorrow. Here's what's coming up in this video today. There's a chance for you to win a signed and framed Jota shirt with football prizes. We'll look at Dundee United's form as well, and we'll look at our head-to-head -head against them so far this season. And then we'll obviously get into the main reason for this video, which is the lineup for tomorrow's game. So, as I mentioned, you can win a signed and framed Jota shirt this week with football prizes. Um, tickets are £4.95. I'll put the link in the description below. Click it. Uh, you can use the code CelticFansTV10 for 10% off all raffle tickets. 99 tickets available. They're going really quickly already. It does expire next Thursday at half past seven. But I think more than a third of the tickets are already gone. So if you want to be in with a chance of winning, you'll need to be quick uh, to buy your tickets. So great prize this week. Get involved, click the link below um, and good luck with winning the shirt. So Dundee United made it to the quarterfinals with a 1-0 victory over Partick Thistle at Fir Hill in the fifth round. Since then they haven't won um, in the league. They've had three draws and one defeat in their last four games. Um, they, gave, they gave us a really difficult game at Celtic Park a couple of months ago. Um, a late Abada winner uh, secured three points for us that day. But if you think back to the last trip to Tanadice in December, we were 1-3-0. We were absolutely brilliant that day. And I think aside from the Rangers game, it's probably still our best overall performance of the season. That day, we ran out 3-0 in the end, but it could have been any score. We played at great pace. We created a lot of chances that day. Um, so I'm hoping for a similar performance tomorrow night and safe passage through to the semi-finals. Right, so we'll get to the team then. In goals, no doubt it's going to be Joe Hart. I think the back four will be Taylor at left back, Starfelt and Carter Vickers in the middle. Um, and at right back, Ralston came in against Livingston and by the way, he was absolutely brilliant. Um, I still can't believe the performances Ralston's putting in this season. Um, he's been absolutely exceptional. A lot of goals, a lot of assists. Another assist last week at Livingston uh, for the own goal. And he just leaves everything out there every time he plays. Um, he has been brilliant. But I'm going to put Juranovic in at right back. The only reason for that is the last time, as I say, we went to Tanadice, we put in a great performance. Juranovic started at right back that day. Um, and I think he should be fresh after having not played last weekend. And I think we've seen that the manager's quite comfortable. Chopman changing it right back because he knows that Ralston's there um, and he's performed at a really high level this season. But Juranovic as well um, has been brilliant for us since he arrived at the club. So I'm just going to go with Juranovic to start in tomorrow's game. In midfield, we've seen a different setup against Livingston. We went for more physicality. I talked about that in the build up. Um, whether we would go with Beaton, and we did. McGregor moved up one um, and Rogic played alongside him. And I thought the three of them were really, really good. Um, you normally associate McGregor and Rogic um, with passing the ball and getting creative, but I think they've done really, really well physically, winning tackles and getting on second balls, um, and that really allowed us to go and play against Livingston last week. I think McGregor, though, will drop back to the deeper position. Um, Beaton, I expect to drop out. I don't think that's a first-choice midfield um, going forward for us, the, the, the one that played against Livingston, but it's a good option for the manager to have there in games where we need that uh, physicality. But as I say, going back to that last trip to Tanadice, um, we had a much more fluid attack in midfield and it really helped us in the game. So I think McGregor will go back to the deeper position. In front of him, I'm going to go for Hatati and Rogic to complete the three. Um, it could be any, any two in front of Callum McGregor, to be honest. I think Hatati having... Sat out last week, I know he got five minutes at the end, but um, he had looked tired and his form had tailed off since his arrival at the club. I think he might come back in at the start at 11 tomorrow. And Rogic again, based on that performance last week, where he was pressing again, um, he was really aggressive without the ball, um, looked back to the form that he's shown for most of this season. Um, still a bit to go, I suppose. You're looking for him to string two and three performances together before he can really say that he's turned the corner. But I'm going to go with him again based on that performance at Tanadice the last time out. He was absolutely superb. Scored goal of the month that day. 
Um, he was brilliant from start to finish. So I've just went with it, with him to start alongside Hatati. It could be O'Reilly. Um, who knows? Again, just brilliant for the manager to have options in that area of the pitch. We're getting back to having a full strength squad now. I think only Turnbull and Kyogo, um, who should be approaching fitness now. I think Turnbull will be back in the next week or two, and then Kyogo hopefully not long after that. And it'd be nice to just have a fully fit squad. It's something that the manager hasn't been able to um, call upon all season. Um, we've never had everyone fit at any one time, and that should stand as a really good stead for the running. Um, on the right-hand side, Forrest started last week. I'm going to go with Abada. Um, Forrest was good. Um, promising performance from him after some really poor showings this season. Scored a good goal, um, but I'm just going to go with Abada in this one again. I think Forrest started that last game at Tannadice um, and the team, as I've gone through the team, is that most of the players that started at Tannadice last time done really well and I've went with him for this game tomorrow but I think Abada will just come back in. Um, a, a slight dip in his form, uh, no goals or assists since that 4-0 victory over Malibu, um back in February but I think again it's good to have that option of him and Forrest um, and I think the manager will be happy to change that. I think Abada just gives us a wee bit more energy and Forrest is there as an option uh, later in the game, should we need him. On the left-hand side, another man that was back to better form last week was Jota. Um, absolutely brilliant. Back to his old self and the way that he was carrying the ball, eliminating players, creating chances. His crossing was much better. His set-piece delivery was superb. And he played a lovely side wheel pass for, for the assist for James Forrest's goal as well. So he was really, really good last week. Um, and we could do with him keeping up that form not just tomorrow, but for the rest of this run-in as well, because when he plays like that, he's really, really difficult um, for the opposition to live with. So it'll be Jota on the left-hand side, and through the middle, I'm going to go with Dyson Maida. Uh, tireless performance last weekend against Livingston. I think that's three starts in a row now for him, all through the middle. I think he needs that. I think, I know the jury's still out, out on him in some, in some way. Um, I think it's five goals and only 11 appearances, and we know that he looks a wee bit raw in his performances, haven't been exceptional. But his work rate is certainly exceptional and he's a goal-getter. He's been in the right place at the right time. He was against Livingston last week. Um, we've seen that and I think a run of games for him in that position will do him the world of the good. Jacques Marcus is a great option off the bench for us. But again, if you think back to that last trip to Tanadice, Kyogo was brilliant in that game without scoring. And that was because of the, of the intensity against the ball, um, the way that he presses, and Maida is the closest to that. So I think he'll start through the middle. That's the team that I think the manager will go with for tomorrow. Like this video, comment with your own thoughts below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you tomorrow in Dundee for all of the full-time reaction from Tanadice. Cheers.